Hello, everybody. So, um, I wanted to talk about something today that I think is very, very, very important. This is for those in relationship. So, as you know, I'm a wisdom coach. What's up, Steve? Um, you know, I'm a wisdom coach, and you know, I coach different people all the time for different reasons, okay? And um, a couple times, not just once, but quite a few times, I guess I should say, um, so many, so many relationships are just, I don't know, they're just so weighted down. You know what I'm saying? They're weighted. They're so weighted down because of bringing up old stuff. We cannot truly advance our relationship if we continue to bring up old stuff that has nothing to do with the present time you're in right now. So a lot of my clients that I'm dealing with right now keeps bringing up the old stuff over and over and over again. Like how, how is your relationship supposed to get lighter, more fluid, more enjoyable when all we do is keep bringing up what you used to do that hurt me, what you used to say, how you used to treat me. It's like, are you still in the old relationship we had and after we have advanced our relationship to a better state? Why are you still bringing that stuff up? Stop it. Stop it. Because what's going to happen is you're going to continue to feel misery. And are you addicted to the misery to the point that you've got to keep bringing it up? Because understand something. Hey, Rolanda, understand something. Because if you love your partner, if you have no plans on leaving your partner, if you <laughs> want to continue on in your life with this person, why are you saying I let it go, but you keep bringing it up? It's, it's obvious that there's a misunderstanding here. And this is to the ladies, because let me understand this. Ladies, we have a long memory. We don't forget nothing, do we? We have a tendency to remember any, any and everything that happened, for instance, that was not cool in the relationship. We can tell you what he was wearing, what he was smelling like, where you were at what time it happened, we can tell you everything. But when he's kind, when he's caring, when he's correcting you, when you're making mistakes, when he's looking out for you, when you don't even realize he's looking out for you, when he's looking out for you, we don't want to bring that up. We don't talk about the good in the relationship. We keep bringing up the old stuff over and over again. And then we wonder why we're miserable in our relationship. If you let that stuff go, the relationship would be wonderful. See, my thing is, we don't live in the present enough. We live often in the future too much or we live way too much in the past, right? So how are we supposed to advance our relationship if all I keep doing is bringing up the old you, the old stuff you used to do, how you used to be, what you used to talk about, when you used to go here and go there, you ain't not worth a nothing. You remember when you did this and you did that? It's like, hold on a minute. This man has changed for you. And you won't even be kind enough to tell him I appreciate your changes, how you evolved and changed. We can't even be we can't even be kind to our to our partners. We can't because all we want to bring up is what he did that hurt. So my question to the people is, and I'm going to bring this, I'm going to pick on the women a little bit because we tend to do this more often, is we need to start wondering, are we addicted to the pain? Let's think about this for a second. Are we addicted to the pain? Do we enjoy being hurt? Is there something off here that's constantly bringing up what he did to hurt you? Because if that something continues... It's not going to feel good. Listen, 
we talk about we love sex, right? Oh, I love sex. I love sex. One thing that's symbolic about sex that we don't think about is that when you both come to a beautiful orgasmic experience, it's a flow, right? You flow within each other. There's a flow going on. But when you constantly bring up about old stuff, you're going up against the current of the flow of the relationship. So guess what happens? It causes what? Turbulence. It causes huge waves of drama. It causes argument. It causes discomfort. It causes headache. It causes stress. Uh, now look at your blood pressure. What is it now? Because you keep bringing up the old stuff. What is it? What's your blood pressure now? And 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 he's already we we've already went over that already. That's already happened already. Why are you bringing it up? So my question to the goddesses: Why are you bringing the stuff up? Is it because you just love pain? Because if that's the case, let that man go. It's not fair to him. Let him go. You're just you're just gonna keep dragging up this old stuff. Then let the man go and let him find peace with someone else. Because nobody wants to live in that misery. We all make mistakes. What makes you so perfect? You didn't do nothing wrong ever? Just because he may have cheated or whatever. Because that's the number one thing. Well, he may seem messed around on me. Okay. But you're still there. So obviously, there's a part of you that wants to stay with him and stick with him. So let the shit go. I mean, you keep bringing it up. This man unchanged and 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 evolved for you, and you can't even be kind to him. I know people that's still holding on to this shit for two years, three years, four years. I'm like, how many damn days is you gonna are you gonna waste on this? <laughs> Think about it. It's 365 days in a year. If you waste two years on an, an infidelity situation or the money came up short or whatever you don't want to forget if you hold on to that violation in the relationship for two years understand that is damn near almost whoo let me see over set at least over almost over 800 days at least so if you love somebody are you saying that you truly love them and then yet you still drum up old shit how are you loving then? I'm confused. That is not a loving space. That is not a caring space. That is something that's in you. And gentlemen, y'all are bad too. Because you, you could be like, you know, I know a lot of men that have trust issues. I don't know how many times gentlemen will tell me, oh, I got trust issues. You can't bring drum up trust issues in a relationship. If your girl messed around and you're mad and you're still frustrated and yeah i remember that and he was doing this he was doing that you was calling him he was going over there da, 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 da. you keep bringing it up that's been two years ago and you still keep bringing it up how are you guys going to go back into a flow of caring and loving if you can't let this stuff go man? we have to start looking at what we do in relationships we have to start looking at if we want a decent relationship, if we want a joyful relationship, if we want to be excited in our relationship, we can't keep bringing up old stuff. We have to start living in the now. If your mate is, is, is showing you he cares, going out of his way, practically tripping over himself to fix his wrong, and all you do is uh, 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 just burn up, just like... Are you going to let this man try to be kind to you without acting an ass? Pardon my French, but that's what you're acting like. You don't want to, mm, don't touch me. I don't want, I don't want you near me. Why? Because you're still mad about that shit? Let that go or let him go. Same with you, you gentlemen. If you're going to hold on to what she did, Back in the day when she was 17 and messed around on you with Joe Schmo and you can't let it go and you want to hold on to her because you think she's your possession, let her go. Let her have some peace. Don't nobody want to live in that misery. They don't. I'm sorry. They do not want to live in misery. And that's what you're asking someone to do when all you keep doing is drumming up and bringing up old stuff.
we got to do better. We want relationships, but we are effing them up by doing stuff like this, by not caring about, well, how am I being treated? You're not perfect. None of us are. <laughs> we are all going to make mistakes. We are all going to make mistakes. That's just what it is. Okay? That's just what it is. So with that said, we have to step outside of ourselves and start looking at ourselves. And I always, you know, what I always do is I do an exercise with my couples, you know, that I work with. And I'll say, hey, what size shoe do you wear? And he'll tell me. And I'll say, and lovely lady, what size shoe you wear? And she'll tell me. I'll say, okay, now I need you to take your shoes off and step into his shoes. Now, well, these are big. Yeah. And he's like, well, I can't hardly fit my foot in her. Right. I get it. But it ain't about that per se. I just want you to see what if it was you that did the violation. Because see, a lot of times we'll talk about him doing this and him doing that and da 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 and, well, I, don't, I, I ain't going to tolerate and blah, blah, blah. But what if it was you? <laughs> then what? What, what, do you want your, what do you want your mate to do when it's you? How would you want to be treated if it was you? Would you want there to be a level of forgiveness, a level of kindness, a level of restoration in the relationship? Would you like those things to happen? Then you have to step your game up. You can't expect your mate to try to treat you better when as soon as they F something up, you want to treat them like dog poop. And hell, some people treat dog poop better than they treat their mate because they at least pick it up nicely and throw it in the trash. Y'all just step all over my God. It's like, man, come on. We got to do better here. It's not that hard, people. It's really not. It's not, it's not that hard to be kind to someone. Especially who you sleep in the bed with every night. But we can't do that because of what? Ego. See, I say all the time. Why are we addicted to the, to the feeling of pain or the feeling of grief or the feeling of depression? What are we addicted to and why are we addicted to that? There has to be something inside here. And nine times out of ten, it's a lack of self-loving. Put that in your back pocket. You're not self-loving enough. Trust. When you love yourself, you don't want to you don't want to touch pain. You want to truly truly love someone else and you want them to feel loved. And you know, just because we love don't mean we got to be all affectionate either. Affection can sometimes be misconstru misconstrued to being caring and and being awful. So don't only think about showing love through affection. But show love through how you care about somebody, how you protect them, correcting them when they're wrong. There's a nicer way you can do something for the person you're in a relationship with without being ignorant and nasty. Be like, you know what? Right now, we're in a bad state. Let's talk about this later when we can sit down and have a conversation. And be the bigger person. You can't change them, but you can change the way you handle stuff. Listen, I, this isn't going where I need it to go. So let's sit down and have a cordial conversation where we can get less upset. Then talk about it. Talk about your fears. Talk about your hurt. And then talk about how you're willing to open up about why you're hurt. Because a lot of times we're not hurt because of something that just happened. This stuff that we're mad about that happens right now is something that comes back from way in the past that happens similarly. And we still drumming up that hurt from that old, old situation. So you're deeper, you're hurt, but you're deeply hurt because of the fact that you're drumming up something from your past. And so guess what? That hurt there comes right back in to your new, to your new hurt. So sometimes we're hurt to a level or a degree that we shouldn't even be hurt about. Because of what? We haven't healed the old scar, see. 
I talk about it often. I have an old keloid on my knee. When I was skating, I was young, skating in front of my grandmother's house. Happened to skip over a curb and, and skint my knee. Now, that keloid, I can rub across right now and not feel no pain. Do I remember the fall? Yes. Can I revert back to it? Yes. But I, it takes me a while to even remember the pain. I know it hurt. I know it was painful. But it takes me a while to have to reflect back to how that hurt so bad. But a lot of times we don't we don't take the time to really look. Well, is this a keloid or is this still an open wound in our hearts and our souls? Stuff happens to us all the time, and we say we let it go, but we really don't. And how we how we know we haven't let it go is we look at the new relationship and we look at how when the the person does something slightly similar, we act a fool. Like don't <laughs> we act a plum. Ooh, you hear me? And that's not the that's not the level of anger or hurt you should be feeling for that small tiny violation. So we have to get outside of that and sit back and say, hold on. Before I get this upset, is this really the degree I need to be getting upset at? And and before I even go there, let me really try to process what I'm feeling. And is this is this because of this or is this from something in my past? Okay. So again. It's very, very important that we sit back, we really pay attention to how we are treating our lover and who we care about and who we're claiming and start treating them with some respect. Stop bringing up the old stuff. Please share this video. I'm serious. Please share this video. I got moved spiritually to talk about this and I wasn't even on, I wasn't even going to come on live today, but somebody, this, this, this message is for somebody today. Please share this video. Please let people know that this, this video is necessary. Tag your friends. Tell them. Get over here and listen to this. Because it's vitally important that you understand we can't continue to have a relationship with somebody and we're miserable. And if we're miserable, why are we miserable? And if we're not healing what we used to be heard about, then it's going to keep coming up. It's going to keep coming up. We're going to keep having this issue. We're going to keep feeling hurts that we don't need to feel. Real talk. We got to get over this, man. We got to get better with what we're doing. We love, but sometimes we love sloppy. We ain't loving right. <laughs> we're not loving right, man. I'm trying to tell you. So please, make sure you send this out. You, you make sure that you tell people the importance of truly making sure they understand the imperative amount of energy they're putting in to these situations that is not necessary and 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 then and then tell each other look it's very important i don't have to love you in this pain let me get me together and if you need to be coached call me i'm a look i'm an inbox away call me this is what i do i'm a coach a wisdom coach. If you have anger issues, if you got stuff that you won't let go, trust me. Trust me. I'm your wisdom coach. I can help you through this stuff, man. That's what I'm here to do. This is my this is my purpose. I know that. I'm not I'm not conflicted by that. But don't keep dragging up relationship like this that makes you feel miserable. You have a right to be happy. Stop getting that high off that pain. Let it go, man. It's not worth it. Inbox me if you need a if you need a wisdom coach. Trust me. Inbox me personally. I don't have any problem with that. Inbox me, say, look, I I am the one. I am the one that needs this help. Please help me. And without a doubt, I will do what I can to help you. Whew. Like I said, I wasn't planning on doing a live today, but the spirit said, hey, I need you to hit on this. There's some people that's going through this right now, that needs the help. So I, I have to do what I'm spiritually led to do. I can't, I can't ignore that. You know what I'm saying? I had to put everything down. I was getting ready to go across the street to my best friend's house and, and sit up there and, and, and sip some tea and stuff. But I said, hey, wait, I, I got something to do real quick and I'll be over there. Also, you guys know what I'm going to tell you. Solo. Shine on loving oneself. These ball caps are available right now. If you want one, holler at your girl. I got them. $14.50 a piece. Plus shipping and handling. 
Also, I am new, now doing a jewelry line. Yes, I created these. Handmade. Not bad for you, girl, huh? Doing some extra stuff. And these are going to be called soloettes. I have a bunch of stuff. I have my bracelet, the bangle. Yes. And they're on sale today for 10 bucks, plus shipping and handling. If you want one, call me. Inbox me. I'm just a, I look, I'm just an inbox and a call away. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Also, the show, the solo, you know this is a solo shirt. Solo shirt, the organic version. It's 100% organic, laser printed. This shirt is 55 plus tax and shipping and handling. So if you guys want any of these products, inbox me personally. You're more than welcome to inbox me and say, hey, I want that chain. I want that whatever. Just let me know. I, ha I haven't gone live about all the stuff I have, but I got a lot of stuff coming. You guys have no idea. Been working tirelessly, tirelessly on my products. The apparel line is coming. I'm telling you, it's on, I'm on, I'm on e almost every night working on it. So... You already know, and you know I don't play when it comes to making sure we look good. And not only that, the solo is really about shining on loving yourself. It's imperative. We all have a flame inside. So again, it's imperative that you get lit and stay lit. All right? I'm out of here, guys. Make sure you... Make sure you... Uh, Share this video, tag your friends, let them know this is for them. I don't care who it is, just let them know. Hey, get on this. It's imperative that you guys fix y'all's relationship. I'm telling you, you don't have to live in misery and you don't have to be addicted to the pain anymore, any longer. And I don't want to say that I have not um, acknowledged who was speaking to me. Um, hey, Steve, he said that he's ran into the same thing. He said this, that the past is just a reference to learn how to progress forward. Yes. So you just want to use your past hurts and stuff as a point of reference. That's it. That's all. You don't have to live there. Um, and then Rolanda, she said um, she has to share this with her niece um, <laughs> and give it to her while she's young. Yes. I tell my daughter this all the time. She has a beautiful relationship. And I tell her all the time, step out of your sevens, girl, and step into his his shoes. And understand, you want to have this beautiful relationship forever, honey. You're going to have to make sure you allow some violations to go on and surpass. We don't have to say everything out of our mouth that we th think about or feel. We can actually let that thought pass. And even if it's a memory, just let it pass. It doesn't have to be brought up. Just leave it alone. Let it go. You don't have to keep bringing it up. Okay, you had the memory resurface for whatever reason. Let it pass. Doesn't mean you have to say anything. Maybe it's just a reflection on something that you need to remember as a lesson. And just let it pass. We don't have to always start talking and start yelling and screaming. Kadeza, I'm so I'm so glad you feel that, sis. I'm so glad. Um, I'm so glad, Rolanda, that this spoke to you, man. Listen, I, I do this because I think it's very important that I reach people... So they understand that you don't have to be in this life path on alone. We can do some things that can be very powerful. It just takes time. And sometimes we just have to have patience, not just with our mate, but patience with ourselves. So like I said, solo, shine on, loving oneself, get lit, and stay lit. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys. Bye.